Brava, brava. I'm glad she got out at least. Heartbreaking, I can't. Down the witch's rock. Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The Horror Bandwagon. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Acta All Along reaction. Today we are covering episode nine Maiden Mother Crone. Oh, okay. Now, last episode, we landed on a freaking banger of a twist yeah. where we think, at least that's what they're like leaning into, is that this was all the creation of Billy Maximoff. Or William Kaplan. Uh, in this moment, he's in this house. He's William Kaplan. He hasn't told his parents what actually has happened. Yeah, and we also heard Agatha's laugh or cackle at the end of the last episode. And said, boo. Yeah, so maybe he never left his room. I don't know. There's so much going on in my brain. I just oh, true. Like maybe he's like back. back on the road. Oh, okay, anyways, we're going to go into it. But before we continue, we do want to give a big thank you to you guys for joining us on this journey or if you found us for the first time through this show we thank you this has been super amazing obviously this is the, the final episode of the show um i'm pretty sure they said they aren't going to have a second season but who knows maybe they, they will but hopefully you guys stick around with us because we have a lot of other we have a lot of witches we have wolves vampires on our channel mm -hmm. plus horror movies so stick around we would love to have you yeah but before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon, or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And with all that being said, by the power of the witch's road, or maybe if it still exists, we present to you the finale of Agatha All Along. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on I Get the All yeah, Along. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, who's running? Oh, I think she's about to give birth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah! Oof. Huh. Huh. Oh, what? No, no, no. We're just about to give birth. Please let him live. Please, my love. Please. Oh. Ah. Cool. Ah. Oh, so she didn't even tell you time. Oh, no. I said no incantation. You I made from scratch. Scratch? I'm loving the music in this beginning part. Mm -hmm. Oof. Hi there. Oh, she's entered their little area. Okay. It's gonna steal her their powers. Oh, again, these are times where I forget that she's the villain of the story. Yeah. Billy of kin nearby. Shall we search together? Hmm? Wait, no. Agatha taught them well. Oh my god! No one no one's seeing this? I guess not. She's like responsible for many like witches death. Mm -hmm. He's singing the witches road song. Yeah. The end. 
it's so interesting that like it started off as a happy song and yeah right and it turned into a minor key it feeds this idea that the witch's road is all fake yeah it's, it's just like a up. story passed down She said it before, like she, her son says it. I cannot protect you from what's coming. And I cannot divine what's, when she will return. So we just gotta keep moving. I like it. Uh, oh no. Where all that's wrong. Uh, this is just torture. Door appears. <laughs> Time. So sweet that they're like creating the song together. Mm -hmm. Follow me, my friend, to glory at the end. Bravo, brava, brava. Come, let us find you a warm meal. My sisters and I can help. I thank you, but no, my mother needs me home. He could have got a meal. What's wrong? Mama. We can kill more witches tomorrow. Oh my god. I promise. It's dark. Forever. By your side. Ugh. It's heartbreaking. I can't. It is that time that every Marvel show comes along to where we need to give the villain a sad backstory. <laughs> oh no. I think tonight's the night. Oh yeah. my god. You must know the way then. How dare you? Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Prize worth the peril to witches who are brave and true. You know the ballad and I'm in great need. It spread so fast. We must gather a coven. Down, down, down. Oh. The Cue the song. Marching ever forward. Where's the door? Beneath the wooded shrine. Pathetic. You're embarrassing. This is her same thing that she always did. This was her ploy to, mm -hmm. to use it to just seal their powers always. Yeah. I miss hearing Patty in the back. Yeah. Down the witch's road. Down, down, <gasps> down. Ah! The glory and here we are. Mm -hmm. And he's the first one to go down. Oh! She knew from the beginning. Mm hmm. Boo! I saw you die. Yeah, and now I'm a ghost. Can you <laughs> dig it? <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, see? It's so disappointing. <laughs> it's just a con to lure other gullible witches. Yep. The song doesn't mean anything. It never did. But you made it mean something. Made the road. Like, like if, I, if I literally made the road, then that means that I... Means that I killed them. Yeah. A little bit. Maybe. Lilia in the tower. That was her choice. Mrs. Davis. Who? She didn't even belong <laughs> on the road and now she's dead because. No! And we brought her along! Saved a life. What? <gasps> oh shit! <gasps> Jen! Yeah, what's wondering where you went? I'm glad she got out at least. <laughs> oh, he's 
going back to the house. So we just left Agatha be a ghost back in our house? Billy. Back to the scene of the crime. Yeah, what's the plan? You have something of mine. I know you took it. Just give me what I want and I'll be on my way. <laughs> Is he like closing it? Naliase Fantasma. Wariad Luke. Relinque Teron. Naliase Fantasma. What are you doing? I'm banishing you. <gasps> what? Oh, you all bent Teron. out of shape about killing witches! You're already dead! Naliase Fantasma. Wariad Luke. Relinque Teron. Oh, wow. Why are you still here? Why won't you just die? Because I can't face him! Oh! <gasps> I'm sure he would forgive you for whatever you did. <laughs> He's like, you know, forget what I just did. <laughs> you picked it up. Well, I'm a quick study. Maybe being a ghost suits you. Maybe. Agatha, the friendly witch. Ghost witch. I do tend to kill my coven members. <laughs> so do I. Ouch. Too soon, too soon. He closed it. Uh-huh. Oh. Let's go find Tommy. Is this going to lead into another movie or something? This has to lead into another movie or another show that is maybe more based off of Billy and his journey to go find Tommy. Well, I do know that the creators of this in WandaVision have said that they have always planned for WandaVision, Agatha All Along, and Vision Quest, which is the 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 show centered on vision okay to be a trilogy of, oh okay like, one continuous story okay that makes sense because that the way this ends makes it feel like no there should be another episode so like i feel like there should be a whole like other other set coming up yeah well and there's also like now we have wiccan and he can be part of the That's Young true. Avengers, which they may or may not be setting up. The craft, know. because of the craft poster mm -hmm. that he had. It. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was our reaction to Agatha All Along, Episode 9. Maiden Mother Crone. Now, what are your thoughts? I think that this was a nice way to wrap up the series. We did get to see her backstory, and it was sadder than I was expecting it to be because- <laughs> Well, yeah, very, very depressing. Because we got to get attached to this child and especially it's tragic knowing that Agatha knew from the moment he was born that he was going to die. Yeah. Like she only had so much time, but she didn't know how much time. And it now makes so much sense why she hates Rio so much because even though at the time she thought it was mercy letting her have some time with her child that he just got taken from her with no notice she didn't get to say goodbye he was just gone one day that 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 she would think that's so cruel i also really thought it was interesting that like all of the you know it, even you and i i think theorized at one point that maybe it wasn't entirely like agatha's uh, will like she wasn't trying to be evil and take everybody's powers. Yeah, like no, she was. She was. She evil. was a hundred percent taking using everybody's power. She conned everybody into believing that this song was real, even though she did tr tell a uh, teen who Billy Maximoff um, up front that it was not real. Yeah, that it did not did. exist. So she was honest there, but I yeah I do think overall this episode was a lot more sad than I was expecting as a finale. Um, it does hurt me that the witches are um, are actually dead. They're, mm -hmm. they're not coming back. I felt I, like it just felt like 
I felt like some part of me was missing. I wanted them to come back in some sort of way, which I know we I can't get everything I want, but like I, I wanted them to come back somehow, but you know, it is what it is. I wanted Alice to have like, the Alice was like also just heartbreaking. It just felt like during her scene previously, she was just like, there was so much I wanted to do. And yeah. Rhea was just like, well, you did something like, but well, like that's not enough, but it kind of reflected the idea of death and and this episode where agatha was saying that she wanted more time you know like it, it's it was the same thing um and and like the character of sharon she was only in like two episodes <laughs> um and that makes me so sad i just felt like uh, but it had to stay true because i guess maybe in that respect Billy can maybe understand Wanda a little bit more, mm -hmm. right? Like before he was just very like, that's not my mom, like whatever, girl, you're being mean or something like that. But like, now- I don't know her. He's in the same position. Yeah. He did the same thing. And maybe he can kind of understand now where Wanda was, was at mentally to be able to do that right yeah, that you wanted something so bad you literally willed it into existence yeah and then people died because of that exactly so um it also it's very fitting for agatha to stay i mean she's going to be pretty much a cgi ghost from now on but it, it feels like it's kind of similar to the comics from what i heard is that w wanda not Wanda, Agatha ends up being kind of like a mentor, mm -hmm. right? Like teaches magic. So I feel like this is come full circle a little bit for Agatha to have someone who is very like her child, you know, like death is still gonna death. So that, that stays true. And this is kind of her way of redeeming herself and helping someone else find their loved one right because yeah. she said like i can't face nicholas scratch at the end but i think with billy she might be able to get over that a little bit yeah and it does seem so fitting that like agatha of all characters in the mcu agatha is the one who's going to be like no i'm a ghost i'm not dead yeah <laughs> but i don't know like some part of me again i think i think that we will we need maybe that what's it called revision vision quest vision quest vision quest we might need that third series to kind of connect these and if vision quest is is a hit and is really good um i feel like we got a really good trilogy of series that mm -hmm. i feel like i've never really seen before where you have like a series based on different characters yeah it, like it, I've, I feel like I've never seen something like that before done. So I think this is very interesting and flows with the pattern. So I feel like this episode is setting up for something for sure. And but at the same time, it left me missing with something. So I do think that it landed what it needed to land. I, I do like it, but it made me want more. So I felt a little blue ball at the end. Um, but it makes sense because the story continues and maybe it's not solely about agatha um anymore and it's more about billy and it's it sets up that character yeah uh to go on that 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 quest um Plus, we know that tommy's spirit is in a body we watched as billy placed tommy's spirit inside i don't kid. think so actually i i mean i don't see why he didn't i feel like we watched it happen i don't maybe that's a kind of a debatable thing i don't know maybe maybe i'm confused but for me in that moment he was a little scared that he was the one causing someone's death just to help his brother to do that and at the last minute broke out of it so it didn't happen but so he I, didn't kill that boy so he could have his brother go into that body but i think that the fact that he disappeared from the road is proof that he did place he found tom tommy's tommy's spirit was brought back into the world okay maybe i mean if if so then their quest is to find that 
that person mm -hmm. because we never saw who it was like the the actor the face we never saw the face so i guess we would have to go on that journey to find out yeah i mean overall did you think that series landed for you yeah i really really enjoyed this series i would like to go back and rewatch it because i especially like all the little nods in this episode especially where we go back and we're like oh agatha knew from like the very minute that the door appeared she's like there's something more going on here because she knows that the road is fake it was made up it was a backstory that she used to take magic from others and mm -hmm. continue just living on forever and i would love to go back and see like all the little nods that i think they probably have done throughout the series that indicate that Agatha knew something else was going on, even though she was playing along and acting like, oh yeah, the witch's road. I've been mm -hmm. here before. And I love that whole montage of her saying, singing the song again and various versions of yeah. it as it went along up until the one that we know. I think rewatchability for this one is a, it's gonna make it a little bit too sad for me, at least right now, just because I we end up knowing now the fates of all these witches. It's not as like at the end of WandaVision where we kind of defeat Wanda and uh, not defeat Wanda, but defeat Agatha mm -hmm. and Wanda was able to break out of everything that happened, but was still able to kind of, I mean, the people were left traumatized, but you know, they were still there, yeah. right? As opposed to here where we have people who went through the, all of this and still died but at the at the same time one what Ag one was agatha's fault which was atlas and then one was lilia who kind of predicted that this was going to happen um and i kind of want to know like do you think it was then all for nothing does lilia's episode not no because the salem seven was still after them yeah was that a thing that was still a thing right I I think that I think that she gave herself closure there, um, and but I do think that she was able to save the rest of them from the Salem Seven. That's what I'm saying. Like the Salem Seven was still after them, and in that moment, create he created the road. Yes, because the Salem Seven was was after them, not be solely because of that, but because it's Billy Maxwell. But like. The Salem Seven was still the same Salem. He didn't like create that. They were still after them, and Lilia was the reason why they they even survived that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Yeah, I just don't want like. I think knowing that that episode is still impactful, even with knowing this little twist here, I think I will be okay with that. Yeah, and although now that you say that, I do think that that's an avenue that could have been explored a little bit more, even if we just put a little bit of reference to it in the backstory here yeah because the salem seven were creepy but we, oh maybe like we know nothing in, about them in the backstory how because because they they are the the, the descendants of the yeah. like like you could have literally done it by having like over time these like you see these little girls that like watch their moms like yeah kind like, of just reminding us that that like, that was still a we thing we could have we could have yeah. done with that because yeah, i sort of feel sure. like they in episode one they got put of us oh look at these creepy scary uh witch hunters and then they just are gone like that's it we don't we, we don't really find anything more out about them which I would like to know more. Yeah, I, I think it's not it's less of a criticism and more of like a we would love to just know more about that. Give <laughs> us episode ten. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe there is an episode ten that they're just gonna release later on. Oh, God. Maybe Surprise I don't know. Surprise Halloween drop. <laughs> Surprise Halloween drop. I don't know. All right, guys. So you know what that means. We're gonna wrap it up here. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought about this episode. As usual, we want to give a special shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you so much to each and every single one of you. You have no idea how much your support and your love mean to us. It truly, truly does. If you want to be part of the Patreon gang, go over to patreoncom bandwagon. Benefits start at three dollars and up, and will you catch a full-length reaction of both these episodes, episode eight and episode nine, full-length reactions. And if you want to unlock exclusive emotes and members only lives and watch along, so you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are YouTube members and Patreon members. You guys are freaking awesome. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.